Okay. Well, got 14 kills there. Three assists. Two sector sectors captured. Hmm. 2,000 damage. Not exactly, I haven't been really watching this all that well, so eventually I'll probably get a, an expectation for how well this is doing, but, you know, 14 air kills is still pretty good, especially when, you know, look at the scores. I mean, I didn't do amazing this game. That P40 was also doing very well this game. It wasn't exactly a complete shutout on my part, but, yeah, I was doing pretty well. That bomber, me getting that bomber strike through is probably what won us the game pretty definitively. So, yay, I'm using tactics. Amazing! Also, we have a million credits. Good. I've also got 2,000 XP out of that. So, where are we for the Act 9? Should be pretty close. 700 XP! Oh. Well, one more game, and then we'll have our plane. Just one! It's not like the game isn't fun. It can, kind of, it can be kind of a drag when you're not winning, and because when your team's not doing what they're supposed to do, you're not going to win. But, you know, when you start doing well, it's great. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay, into battle we go. This should be the last battle in our Yak-7. It's been a long run, but it wasn't that long to get out of this plane, I suppose. I mean, well, then again, going from Tier 1 to Tier 5 call, uh, took about the same amount of time as it took from going to Tier 5 to Tier 6, in terms of how long I've been recording. So, maybe it did take a while, but you know Show what? You At least when pilot. we got this thing fully upgraded, it actually started performing extremely well. It's redeemable. Okay. View fighter has it right. We're going dead away. Fly up here a little bit, and then... Cut the boost, and then level off. Plenty of heavy things marching towards this point. However, it looks like most of our team is flying towards the center. Well, good luck on them. I'm gonna make sure we at least get one of these points. Okay, so. Doesn't look like the enemy came over here, so at least we'll probably get this done fairly quickly. Nope, wait, there they are. We gotta get in range here and start knocking out these planes before the enemy gets to them. Oh, so now it's working. Son of a bitch. The enemy has gathered Screwing with me this fucking scope. Be cautious. Russian optics! Hey! That was my kill, you asshole! Get back here! Fuck a wolf. Hey, what? Get the fuck. Yeah, climbing isn't gonna fucking help you if you keep standing like that. Bad airspeed problem. He's gonna roll over and come back at me. Nope, he, keep, he's keep, he keeps running. Also, no way in hell I aim that right. There it is. Fucking fuck wolf. You see those shots? They just kind of there's a, there's something really forgiving down there in that calculation. There is no way that's 100% accurate. Half of those shots didn't even fucking hit him. But some of them still did damage. And it's also, as you can see, a very actually a very wide dice roll in terms of actual damage output. Still got that kill. It seems like it goes down to like 20. I thought it went down to like 60, but no, sometimes it just kind of taps them for next to no damage. Round! Come on, guys, we have to capture the point. Ow, 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 ow. Enemy bomber and you can see that guy moved out of the way, and the target. shell still hit him. So there's weird shit going on here with this with this ballistics, but it's actually working in our favor, because it's a lot easier to hit them than I, suspe than I suspected. And you know what that means. That means if there's weird dice rolly shit going on in the ballistics, that means the accuracy increases are actually going to affect that weird inconsistent bullshit. So, if you go for single engine, well, single cannon planes with very large guns, like the Russian multi roll fighters here, accuracy is probably going to be your friend. I can't determine exactly how, how helpful it is, but I'm only going to assume that it must be helpful because this is the exact thing that's affecting. You got him. 
You got him. You, you got him. Ha-ha! <laughs> Winning head-on fights with pew fighters. Russian superiority. Unfortunately, that's probably not gonna... Yeah, Spitfire. Riddling me with a Spano fire. Oh, well. That's a five, right? Yeah, that's a five. That's a tier six play, right? Right? Yeah, it's tier six. I'll be up at his tier in a minute. Looks like the, you know, our base defense force is going at those bombers. Good on them actually getting their shit together to go get them. Looks like the enemy team is actually not really paying attention to theirs at all. So, good on them. Let's see if we can actually bust some heads up in the center here to clean this area up. Maybe we'll be able to get, get the center. I have no idea, though. Okay, I got some of those hits in, but not enough to really kill him. Oh, hello, Spitfire. Thud! What the fuck am I being sh- It's a Viewfire. Another Spitfire. Ah! Oh. He's dead, and now I'm dead because of that fucking Viewfighter, but whatever. Getting kills. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this, though, because we can't really break through the center. There's too much shit going on. Somebody's gonna have to do something, and it won't be me right now. Though it looks like our bombers did actually get through. Yeah, they dropped their bombs over there. The only problem is they didn't actually do anything, it looks like. Looks like the the enemy fighters are starting to concentrate on the bombers. That gives us a little bit of a chance here to maybe kind of swoop in and take the center point. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see if I, when I actually get in. They got the bombers up there. We need to get into the center fort and actually capture this. But it looks like it's going to be actually damn near impossible because... We keep losing planes. Okay. Most of the air defense view fighters are still intact. That's good. It gives us something easy to shoot. However, we're going to need way more fucking teammates if we're going to actually get through this. I what I'm do. I'm going to fly around in a circle really quick here. Look for my teammates to actually catch up to me. Try and nail one of these the planes. Spitfire's flying control. away from us. With the headquarters established. Okay, good. We got both of them. Rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Well, we're flying into the jaws here. To reach you. Do you read me? Over. Yeah, I still hit him. They've almost got us. Oh, deck! Well, we're alive. I gotta get the fucking Spitfire though. On my honor! Good. At least control services works out for that, at least, for emergency maneuvers of such detail. Come on. Come on, you flying coffin. Get your shit together. That's it. There's no way to break through for you now. This is You're not good. Own. Oh, this is all sorts of bad. Pilot's knocked out. I just spitfire riddling me with bullets. All I need to do is land one good fucking shot. The only problem is I'm being riddled by everything else, so it looks like I'm gonna, just gonna die. Yeah, I'm not making it out of this. Had to knock out my pilot, huh? And look at that! His plate wasn't even pointed towards me! But he's dead anyway, so at least I managed to get him killed too. But you see that? His plane wasn't even actually pointed towards me. The bullets are flying out of the barrels at an angle in order to hit me like that. We have complete control so there's some weird shit going on with this Way game, go. honestly. Whoa, hey! Good job, team! Let's see if they can actually hold that advantage. We might actually pull a win out of this just out of nowhere. They need to stay alive, though, but no, nope, no, nope, we magically lost it. Immediately. There's a glimmer of hope, but whatever, we should have enough XP to get out of this anyway. 
Hey, Stuka, that's an enemy plane looking at you. St Stuka. St 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 you see, this is why we're losing, because we have tomatoes like this. Inert pilots. That's an AI. That's a bot, too. What's going on there? Look at him singularly focusing on the, the ground targets. Wow. No wonder we're losing with teammates like that. Look, done what you could. he's not even shooting, but he's still getting kills, though. What the fuck was that? We talk about robotic, but, well, we got plenty of XP, so we'll be walking out of that with a new plane. Hmm. And we're back. Okay, Yak-9 available for research. Thank you for notifying me. We got... how much XP did we get out of that? Well, we only needed 700, and we got enough. We did actually... well, just shy of best on our team. Oh well, we're up at the top of the board. But now we say goodbye to our friendly Yak-7. Yak-7, you were absolutely terrible when I first met you, but you know what? You became something reliable by the end of our friendship. That's probably going to be the story for basically all the fighters going forward, that I hope the Yak-9 has a little bit better of an entrance. So... Let's research the Yak-9. And then we can actually, yeah, we can actually buy it without selling it, selling the Yak-7. However, we're going to sell the Yak-7 for mud wolves, because we need those. But, well, let's see here. Almost 900,000 to purchase it. We don't need a crew because we're taking our pilot over. That's another thing we need that money for. Okay. So. That's our Yak-9. A little bit sleeker. A little bit fancier looking. Hopefully a little bit better in just raw performance. It doesn't have this... It actually has something resembling a bubble canopy. But also, nice bulletproof glass back there. So, this should be... Well, this should treat us a little bit better. But. Move our pilot over. Kirvoshlikov, yes, yes, you have a new assignment. And let us sell our friendly X7. A dependable tier 5, so long as you can actually get all the upgrades. Then it starts to shine. Until then, oh goodness gracious, that was painful. But, well, there's that. And now, hello, IL-2. Now we retrain our pilot over, which costs actually a lot. And, well, we got 300,000, but, well, we've got to set this thing up with, well, the reinforced control surfaces. I hope this handles a little bit better. Control surface trim and thematic restarter. Again, pilot hits are really inconvenient. They just happen so rarely, it's kind of hard to plan for them. But then again, I suppose my engine hits, my engine being hit is kind of weird, too. So it's about the same rarity. There are way too many things to it. There are, way too, there are way too many consumables. I actually, with the amount of consumables that we have, honestly, I'd probably argue for a fourth consumable slot. But, there's that. We go to upgrades, and we've got a very long way to go to that 37. That's gonna be unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Aerial verification. We need those. I want to get to that gun as fast as humanly possible. But, as for upgrades, considering this thing probably still flies like a brick, we're gonna put the, well, the improved reflector sight, because those, those actually came off the Yak. Well, the X7, so we can put all of this stuff in here. And be perfectly fine, but what do we got for a tier 6? Not much else. Which is kind of a shame. Hmm. I suppose we should go back to lightweight airframe. Eh. I don't think we're going to be that much of a speedster at this point. So, eh. But then again, judging by the Yak-7's maneuverability, eh, I don't know. I'll wait on that. I'll see how it controls without it. Before we spend any money on that. Let's play one game before I call it a night. Just so we can see what we're up against here for the next time we come in. I hope it's better. 
It's going to be kind of a long haul without that 37, though. But at least we get a 45 at the end of the grind. That should be in very, very interesting. Attention, you are entering the okay. zone controlled by advanced the game. This is, I think, a map that's pretty much exclusive to tier six and seven planes and above. So, well, a new zone. Also, that soundtrack back there. Mm. Okay, so let's see what this baby can do. It's not going to be as efficient as the Yak-7 was, because it don't have the cannon, but hopefully it's not too fucking terrible. Pilot, we'll go capture the garrison point action. over there and see what, we can and see what we can manage against the base defense fighters. Okay, we have a slightly longer boost, I believe. Where are the air defense fighters? View range is also very important in this game, too, I'm seeing. There are a couple of things that actually affect that, namely, like, one or two skills, but also something to look out for. Knowing where the enemy is is incredibly important. Okay. All right, the turning doesn't seem that bad. Let's see if we can actually turn on the boomerang without actually using it. Yeah, actually, there you go. We didn't actually have to- I didn't even have to use the, uh, the reinforced control surface to get that. Okay, so the maneuverability is actually vastly improved. Thank you. Russian engineering, it, it moves in small increments. I'm missing my cannon, though. I'm missing my- my big, huge chunks of damage. Uh, I'm gonna miss that for a while. We only have a shivak in the nose. It's effective, and it'll probably be good at maneuvering fighting. Probably a little less painful than the Yak-7 is at maneuvering fighting. But... Ha! Huh, it's gonna be a while before we get that. And also, it looks like they just... One guy went to the airbase and then proceeded to give up entirely. Wow. It looks like they're either above... No, nope, they're above me. They're all bots, though. However, my teammates are just kind of abandoning this position. Rather, they're all flat. What are you guys doing over there? Get in there! If the bots, hopefully they'll listen. I don't know, though. That's AA fire. This is all sorts of bad. What are my team- What are those guys doing over there? Come on, you fuckers, get into the actual point! Now I'm, I'm kind of trapped now, because I didn't expect my bots to just kind of stop caring like that. Uh, I actually have to hold on to the target. Ah! See, I'm still getting hits like that, even though my guns aren't actually looking at him. Uh oh. Okay, now we use that. Now we employ the Shrigan team button to avoid the fucking heavy fighters. However, our damage is still pretty piss poor. Still got more people fighting us, huh? Coming at us. Like this P-47! Ah, uh, roll! Haha, -ha, you can't fucking hit me! However, my damage is basically non-existent. This is gonna be an annoying grind, I can already tell. Roll! Also got much better rolling performance. This thing feels a whole lot less lethargic than the X7. So good. At least it's improved in, well, every capacity. Aside from gun. Gun's a downgrade, but also an upgrade by the end of it, because sweet, sweet 45. Sweet, sweet Yak-9U. But the Yak-9U is the tier 7 vehicle. And they're out of my range. Still don't have very much speed. I'll leave the J-Way to over, a over there for, you know, after I get done with this, the big fat fucking... He's got a ground attack 50, which is actually pretty terrifying. Well, there's another JU-88.
Aha, I've got you now, fascist plane. You will not escape. Speed up a little, why don't you? Okay. So, we're doing a pretty good job of holding this point. Ha ha! Turn around, because I want that kill! Fuck you, air defense fighters, it's mine! Okay, so where's the last guy? Up there? Wait, it's a bomber. Alright, we seem to be doing pretty well, though. I'm almost certain... Well, we have one team. I, yeah, I think we've pretty much only got one player, or two players per side here. Which is kind of funny, but whatever. And there's one of them right now. Uh, I miss my range. I miss my range and my shock killing power. Oh no. Uh, I will kill this Mustang though. I will kill him. Ah, finally! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna give myself an aneurysm like that. Now what the fuck is shooting at me? Oh, it's the tail gun of the IL-2. Shit. Ow, 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 pain. Ah, 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 ow, ow, ah, 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 you know what that means? We better kill ourselves really quickly here. Then again, they've already captured this point, so it doesn't matter. Then again, we have an airbase. What am I doing? Run We should have an airbase. I don't think we're gonna have an airbase by the time I get over there. This might be a problem. Okay, no, screw it. Crash! We cannot support you That's longer. not really competitive at all. Or rather, over. not really... Immersion... You know, facilitating. It's kind of annoying when I have to do shit like that, but you see, we already lost it. But this is, this is the, game, the kind of thing the game forces you in order to win, which is why it should be changed. I think when the squall line comes in, I think everybody should just be given one free respawn, no matter what the hell the stake the plane is in. Yes, it, it you know it cuts down on the decisiveness of the squ of the squall line, a little bit, but I think it's a lot more fair than just saying it's like, oh, you can't respawn anymore, no matter how well you were doing. What a shame. Also, we're gonna lose some tickets now. Ah, uh, those yunkers over there are actually you know doing a pretty good job. I don't have the, I I don't have the ability to chew through these these Sturmovics though. They are too tough. Huh. My dentures they are not strong enough to chew through this uh, this big meaty Sturmovic. Ah. Funnily enough, the Ju88 is somewhat less resilient. I'm pretty sure it has even more health. Keep it up. Ah! Victory is almost ours. Got him. Actually, we've got our control points, so as long as I keep this shit locked down, we should be alright. Somebody did something right. Yeah, is it just me or is the IL-2 a little bit more durable than the actual JU-88? Soviet engineering, once again, proven best all year. Yes. I miss my cannon. I want my cannon back. However, this will do. We're still doing okay. And we're doing top of the board on this team.
So, not a bad showing by the Yak-9 first time out. It's considerably more maneuverable than the Yak-7. It can actually dogfight. However, again, stock, no cannon. Bad. Very bad. Must get cannon. Get cannon immediately. Though, its maneuverability makes me think, you know, it'll actually be pretty good when it's actually fully upgraded. I don't think I actually need to go for the engines or the airframe right off the bat. I think I just need the gun. I think I'm pretty sure I just need to rush the guns. I'm gonna get the guns first. Well, I'd go back and repair, but unfortunately the game's gonna be over by the time I get literally anywhere, so at least there's that. Well, that's the first game in the Act 9. Not bad. Say, say, 98 and, 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 and Windows 2000. Pilots. Okay. Head back home. Okay. Good. All right. Let's roll back the hangar and see what the, the, the income is. And honestly, I wasn't doing all that well, and I still made a fairly decent amount of XP just on the basis thing. It's going to get multiplied because we have the verification thing on. So, it's good. We're gonna use that to get to the gun as fast as humanly possible, because goddamn, you need the gun. You need the gun. Jesus Christ. I, don't, I can't... I, I'm hitting... Th oh, gee, 6,000. That was the triple, too. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. That gets us on a... Uh, let's, that gets us on the way to the gun very, very quickly. But, uh, yeah. I feel like... I, I feel... I, I, I feel like a manlet flying this plane. I can't... I can't hit anything and do significant amounts of damage. I, I feel weak. I don't like this. The Union should never be weak. <laughs> uh. Okay, but, well, we got plenty of aerial verifications, so we're gonna be pretty good on, you know, getting up, getting that up as quickly as humanly possible. It seems like turning is perfectly fucking okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna try and get something that, well, you know, probably just aircraft polish. You can get a little bit more speed in there. Just a tiny bit. It's not all that fantastic, but well, it'll increase, it'll help us out. Though, again, concealing library is also a pretty good choice because I was getting kind of poked by any aircraft guns, but I seem like, the Act 9 seems like it has enough durability, at least at the moment, to whereas you can kind of get away with that. But, give us a little bit more speed. Even though this thing really isn't a speedster at all. It's got good maneuverability, you know, it's got good handling. The guns are probably going to be good, but it's not exactly a speedster. It's actually, I think it's balanced with the, the planes on its tier. Like, I didn't feel like, yeah, they kind of threw a Mustang at me, and I felt like I could take that. Like, maybe not in speed, because I'm slower than him, but in terms of maneuverability, I, I felt like I could take him. It felt like, it didn't feel like he was lording over me. Like, a comparison would be fighting the, the P-38 Lightnings and the Yak-7. Those are like, I hope he doesn't come near me. Or unless, when he's when he does come near me, he's distracted with someone else. But that's what I mean. But, so, we have 12,000 to go until we get the NS-37. That's rather unfortunate, but let's see here. Let's com let, let us compare here. Really quickly. So, the X-7's 37 does 80 damage a second. Rate of fire of 30, and effective range of 900 meters. What's the Yak-9's 37 get? 85 damage a second. Uh, uh, 30 range and 50 more... Uh, 30 rate of fire and, you know, 50 more meters of range. That's pretty okay. Okay, so what does the 45 get us at the end of the road? Okay, over a kilometer of range and 120 damage a second. At about, actually, the ex damn near exactly the same rate of fire. Actually, exactly the same rate of fire. So, those big thuds are gonna do 120 damage. Oh, well, I'm gonna like this. However, it's gonna take fucking years to get to, because... We have to grind the same amount of XP that we had to grind to the Yak-9 in order to get the gun. And then we have to do it again for the other upgraded gun. This is gonna take a while. But, I think that's all for today. Had fun, got a new plane, made some very good progress. The future looks bright for the Yak-9, at least. But, well, until next time, I've been your wonderful host, Fontaman, and thank you for joining me on this stretch of the Grindfest. I'll see you next time.